HBCU Digest Radio, I'm your host, Jared Carter. Welcome back to our presidential series, Conversations with Esteemed Leaders from Historically Black Colleges and Universities Nationwide. Today, our distinguished guest is Dr. A. Zachary Faison. He is the president and CEO of Edward Waters College, the pride of Jacksonville, Florida, with a great announcement today, uh, approval for a new program and something very distinctive for EWC. So, uh, Mr. President, pleasure to have you back. Well, pleasure to be here. Thank you so very much for this opportunity. Appreciate you, Jared. So big announcement today um, in the area of academic development, um, a new online program and the first online program coming to Edward Waters. Talk a little bit about it. Yes, yes, yes. We are so excited that uh, we earlier uh, last week, as a matter of fact, um, SAC COC approved Edward Waters College to launch its first ever online degree program so we'll be we've been approved to offer a bachelor of business business administration degree with a concentration in organizational management and again this is you know our institution's first ever academic program uh to be delivered via an online platform so we are just really really excited uh, about all the opportunities that this pretends for us our, for our institution that's got to be not only just a major gain for edward waters um, but something that most, if not all colleges and universities are looking ahead to doing in the next uh, years to come, which is how do you expand and perfect online curriculum delivery? Uh, because that's that's just the wave of the future um, for, for schools and presidents and board members who may be out there listening. Can you kind of, I guess, in summary, walk through what it takes to establish an online program? Because I think that a lot of students and alumni feel like, oh, just start an online degree program. And I would imagine it's, it's not that easy, particularly when you, one, got to set it up and two, have to have it approved by your accreditor. So can you kind of walk through what it takes to do that? Right. Well, well, first and foremost, you, you, you've got to have the faculty that have uh, the credentialing uh, and the vision uh, to pull together what the curriculum is going to look like uh, for an online program. And then, of course, as a corollary to that, You've got to have the IT infrastructure uh, to be able to effectively deliver that program. Um, it's one thing to say you have an online uh, degree program, put that out there, but reputation is everything. So once you've once you've you know said that you, you're going to offer this program via a distance learning or online platform, you've got to have your eyes dotted and t's crossed because that first impression um, is the, the 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 best impression. Um, that, that, that your constituencies and your customers, if you will, students that you serve are going to have about the institution, about the program. So after you've kind of done that, then you've got to write the prospectus. Um, you've got to get that prospectus into SAC COC. Um, they have to vet it. They have to approve it. Uh, and then after that, hopefully you keep your fingers crossed and, and, and uh, SAC COC looks favorably uh, upon your, 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 your prospectus submission. Uh, and that's, you know, in a nutshell, it's obviously it's much more granular, the more granular details, but in a nutshell, that's kind of the process. Uh, and so, yeah. Why the focus on business? Um, there, there are a number of strong programs that Water has, but what is it about the industrial footprint in which the school sits and the city's needs and your strategic plan for the institution? What things led to this, the, the decision being made for business to be the first focus of the online degree program? Right. So, uh, namely, uh, business is our, our, our largest degree program. We also did some internal study and actually have engaged a third party um, a higher education and researcher, uh, research uh, institute program um, that helped us to do some market studies, uh, not just here in Jacksonville, but nationally. And we were able to ascertain that uh, business um, and, and all of the um, attended, you know, occupations that are available through um, students that are earning uh, degrees in business, particularly um, in organizational management, is an area that uh, it would be uh, one worth our investment, uh, given the market demand um, in terms of job needs as well as um, market demand with regard to what students are majoring in. So that kind of is what kind of undergirded the decision-making process with regard to choosing business um, for the launch of our online degree programs. And again, when we looked internally, we also did some internal surveying uh, amongst students, and we said, hey, you know, if we were to offer a program that was purely online, 
um, you know, which one, you know, would you have had the most interest? Uh, and again, in partnership with our third party partner that helped provide us some research, uh, business was one of those that kind of rose to the top. So again, since it was our largest major and we already had some strengths in that area, we paired our existing strengths with what the research divulged in terms of market demand. And so it just was kind of a perfect marriage and a perfect fit for us to launch this initial online degree program in uh, business administration. And this new program is just the latest in a, in a really uh, fast paced rollout of a lot of different things happening at Edward Waters. This accompanies, uh, you know, new announcements about uh, peer reviewed journals and research space and opportunities for students and faculty on the campus. Talk a little bit about um, the, the burgeoning, or I should say the emerging imminence <laughs> of, yes. of, of the research imprint at, at EWC. Indeed, indeed. Earlier this month, we also held, kind of along those lines, our first um, HBCU research conference on HBCUs. And as an outgrowth of that, Edward Waters College produced um, its first ever peer-reviewed journal. So. Um, we produced the undergraduate journal on research across the disciplines, as well as the HBCU journal on research initiatives. I'm going to make sure that I get two copies of those to you, Jared. Uh, <laughs> but this is, uh, it was a, a great initial event. We welcomed um, students from all over the country, um, as well as uh, faculty from all over the country to participate in this inaugural event here on our campus. So we were just really, really excited to do that. And again, as we burnish the reputation, the academic reputation of our institution, and continue our trajectory towards emerging eminence, um, certainly the um, what we're producing uh, on the academic side of the house is integral uh, to that growth as, as evidenced through these uh, two new peer, uh, peer-reviewed peer journals that were produced right here at Edward Waters College. So there's a, this big focus, obviously, on academic development, research, research and academic development. What uh, in this still within your first year um, in leading the college? What is it that that gave you the the foundation and the and the faith that hey you know there are a lot of positive things that we can do here, academics is where she would we should start. Yeah, well, I, I will share that you know academics um, is it, it's the lifeblood of what it is that we do. Mm-hmm. We are an institution of higher education, and so while all of the uh, corollary programs around student affairs, uh, around advancement, around athletics are integral to what we do. Our primary mission, of course, is to educate the students that we serve. And so um, we wanted to make sure that uh, we provided, um, or, or rather that we really focused uh, primarily on the enhancement uh, of our academic enterprise, and we're still uh, uncovering, discovering, and recovering in that regard. As you mentioned, this is our first year, the first year of this administration, and so um, this is just the very beginning um, as we look to really recast and reinvigorate and, and, and uh, re-envision what the academic program looks like here at Edward Waters College, lifting it to uh, a place of eminence um, and enhancing our overall academic competitive profile. What's the um, reaction been from your your student body, your faculty, your alumni? It's one thing to have a plan in mind, but then to see it come to fruition. What have your stakeholders said about you know how these these developments are playing out and, and their pride in them? Well, our stakeholders thus far have been very pleased, and I, I think that part of it is that stakeholders want to have a voice. They want to have a platform as a new administration comes in and shapes its vision. I think, you know, we, we spoke some months ago, and, and I was sharing with you then that everyone was pushing me as a new president. Mr. President, tell me what your vision is. Tell me what your vision. Tell me what your vision. And, I, and my pushback was reflexively that a vision is nothing but an illusion without money and a plan. And so what we needed to do was to really coalesce all the different stakeholders to, 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 to listen and hear uh, just kind of what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, um, where we can um, capitalize on existing uh, pockets and spaces of strength, and then kind of collectively uh, set what the pathway is going to be going forward. And that's what we've done. And, and this, this new launch of our first ever online degree program is, a, is an outgrowth uh, from that. So we're really, really excited, and our, our stakeholders are very, very excited because they were given an, an opportunity to give voice and have platform in the pathway that, that we're moving the institution. 
So just to wrap it up again, um, really great news for Edward Waters. Can you tell us where we can learn more information about the program, how people can sign up and more specifically how people or where people can go to donate <laughs> to the School of Business yes. uh, to help yes. expand that, that enterprise? Certainly, certainly. You can visit us at www.ewc.edu. We actually just launched a brand new website in January. Uh, there's a Donate uh, Now page there. Uh, and certainly there will be on the front page there more information about the newly approved uh, launch of the first ever online degree program at EWC. Come join us. We are emerging as Florida's destination institution of emerging eminence. And we certainly uh, want folks that are interested to please, please come and be a part of the great work that's going on at Everwaters College.